Hello, welcome to Ham Radio Basics. Whether you've had your license for a while and just hadn't really gotten on the air, or you're new to Ham Radio and ready to make that first contact, this is the series for you. So let's see what we've got going with K5ATA Ham Radio. Okay, so how to solder two wires together. Maybe you break a wire or something and you need to solder them together. Um, yes, you could just use crimp-ons or something like that, but soldering gives you a much better connection. A couple things. One, you're going to need a pair of strippers. Now, these are some really old strippers that I have. They're, they've been around forever. These are okay. Um, you can use those. They have cutters on them where you can cut it and and basically you find the hole that for the size wire gauge it is, or the wire gauge it is and you kind of cut it and strip it and that works you have that there um, I will go ahead and tell you for about I think 20 bucks maybe okay you can go ahead and buy some of these guys which these are worth their weight in gold. Boom, I'm stripped. So now, what we have are two ends and they're stranded wire. So you can do a couple of different ways. You can, I like to kind of push them together and twist them. Okay, and this is where, okay, let me, Get old helping hands here set up. This is where your helping hands are your friend. Stick one end in here. Stick one end in here. You can manipulate the hands together. Push them. Oops. Let those come undone. Just kind of put them together like that. And you can just twist those with your fingers. that one out. You need to be able to actually turn one of the wires here, so. Um, one thing to note, and I didn't put it on here, but I'm out of them actually. If you're going to use a heat shrink or something over that, make sure you put that heat shrink on there first. I'm just going to use electrical tape after I'm done if I were actually doing this. Um, I do a lot of times use heat shrink. You can get heat shrink pretty inexpensively at like, Harbor Freight or one of your big box stores or something like that. Okay, so the same principle. Now this is going to take a little bit longer because it's a heavier wire. You can actually put some flux on there to kind of speed it up. Of course, I don't have my brush in here, so you can just kind of coat it with it. What that's going to do is that's going to help it flow that solder a little better. And it's the same general idea. You start heating it and you touch the solder to the other side. You see that smoke coming off? That's actually the rosin and stuff in the flux. And boom, here we go. We're flowing solder. And you want to keep flowing solder until you have that whole thing done. Let's see how that looks. And it'll cool. I probably could have gotten a little more on there. and check your work before you tape it up it's it's it could take a little bit more and that's no big deal you just heat it flow the solder in there we go and boom you now have a wire soldered together at this point um, let it cool for a minute you would just slide over your 
heat shrink and melt it. To melt that heat shrink, you can actually just, if you have a heat gun that works, otherwise you can just take a lighter and light it right underneath it just to keep it. Otherwise, you can just wrap it with electrical tape. And you can see that's that's good and solid. I mean, it's not going anywhere. So that's that. And it's how to solder wires together. Any comments or questions, comment below. Um, and that's it. Y'all take care. Hope to see you on the air.